Hi Blanche, it's Wednesday, April 20th. Welcome to mine and Sarah's fort. When thinking about how to talk about forts all day, I, Llama, didn't know really what to say. But after a lot of thought about forts, I have come up with how I want to do this. So first of all, let's just start by saying the word fort in its dictionary definition is a strong or fortified place occupied by troops and usually surrounded by walls, ditches, and other defensive work. Now, we all know what that means, but that's not what fort means to me. In my life, I have made several forts, actually lots of forts, but there's three forts in particular that stick out in my mind. The first fort would be the one that you and I made together in your backyard before you even had a fence. And we had all the garbage bags up to make it look like a real house. And it was just awesome. I totally remember that. It took us like one day, but it was awesome. I don't even remember playing in it. I just remember building it. The second fort that I recall is the one that we made in, well, what is now known as Dana's bedroom. How it took up the whole entire bedroom. Now, I find it really funny that the two forts that I remember first were made with you, but how very appropriate. The third and, sorry, but perhaps most amazing fort was actually not made by me or by any of my friends. It was a fort that we found abandoned in Copper Ridge, just behind our houses on Moonstone, before we even had houses behind it. Um, this fort was really cool. It was it was quite far back in the bushes, and it had it had walls and everything like made out of plywood. And it was awesome. And um, what we used it for is we we formed a, a book club, and we would come to our fort um, every weekend on a Saturday, and we would all bring a book and we'd just sit there and read for hours. And although I think that I probably read the most in that fort, and the rest of them just kind of looked at the words and kind of got bored and whatever, but I was so into it. I, I looked forward to Saturdays where I could go and read in my book fort. Um, and actually, I'm really sad that it's not there anymore because it'd be really cool, I think, to go back there and read or something. So very dorky. Um, but yeah, that was that was probably the best fort ever. And it also had like a little boingy tree by it, like one of those trees that I call it the boingy tree, but one of those trees that you like can bounce on and freaking awesome. So anyways, um, yeah, those are the forts that I love the most. I think that we should actually build a fort when we come home because really, forts are awesome. I think your whole bedroom should be a fort. Be like, peace, I'm in the fort. Can't talk to you, I'm in the fort. And then you can even have like a sign on your door that says like, please do not enter the fortress. No? Okay, Blanche, I believe that's all I can say on forts. Tried really hard. It was awesome. I love forts. Okay? I think I got that across. How much I love forts. Um, for your next Wednesday video, you need to talk about popcorn. Next time I see you, I'll see you in person.